everyone! So we're on Thursday today, although I had lost track of days I thought it was Wednesday and most of you who are still working will be breaking up for the holidays for the bank holiday weekend. So first of all happy Easter and we hope you all have a brilliant um, Easter Sunday on Sunday. Um, we're gonna, I've got Sophia here today so Lucas is behind the camera there you go. This is Sophia. You might not have seen her. She's normally behind the camera. Sophia's 12, nearly 13, and she's going to help me out with today's video. So, uh, Sophia, do you want to explain why you dress nice and fancy and I just look normal? <laughs> it's because today is Dress Up Thursday. So basically, um, the day that you dress up, and you say really, you dress up really nice, seeing as we're in lockdown, so uh, it's to keep you feeling good about yourself. Yep. So she's put on a nice little all-in-one uh, onesie outfit today. So onesie? We're not onesie. What do you call it? Jumpsuit. Jumpsuit, jumpsuit outfit. <laughs> it's because I'm old. Uh, right, so we're going to do some shapes today. So first of all, I just want to apologise as well for not doing a video yesterday. The reason that I didn't do a video yesterday is I had a really bad headache and it turned into a migraine quite quickly. So I actually ended up back in bed for the day. It's still there a little bit today, but we're all right. So we're going to crack on with today. So we're going to look at some shapes and then we're going to show you some difference between some 2D and 3D shapes. So we're going to start off, so these are all the shapes that we've got today that we're going to look at. So what I want you to do is if you've got a pen and paper or if you've got an adult nearby, I want you to have a look at this shape and I want you to say what, you, what shape you think this one is. Okay, have a look. What shape is this one? It's round. You might be able to look round your house and see other round things. So what shape is that one, Sophia? A circle. A circle. So all of these on this sheet are just two-dimensional. They're just flat and they're on the page. That is a two-dimensional circle. Now, Sophia, do you want to show them? We, we asked Lucas to gather up some 3D objects from around the house that matched these shapes, and he found the biggest circle uh, in 3D. So he's going to bring that round now to show you. I'll, I'll just keep the way it. So this is what it is. Do you want to go around and see if everyone can see it on the camera? So this is a 3D circle. Oh, I think somebody's called just declined that. Yeah. So this is 3D. So do we know what the name for a 3D circle is? Because we wouldn't call this a circle. What would we call this? A sphere. This yeah, is a sphere. I can't, I can't say it properly. Yeah. So this is a sphere, so if you have a look around your house later today, try and see if you can see different spheres. So you might be able to see 2D ones, so if you've got any pictures on the walls, and you might be able to see 3D ones if you've got any balls or things like that laying around. So the next one that we're going to do, the next shape, is this one in the middle. So have a look at this, see what you think this one is. What shape do you think that one is? Sophia, what shape's that one? A square. A square. And we know it's a square because it has got four sides. It's got four sides and they are all equal. Is there anything else you know about squares? What about the angles? They've got four angles and they're all the same angle. They're all the same. They're all the right angles. That's it. They've got four right angles. So that's how we know that that's a square. So we did manage to find a 3D version of a square. Do you want to show them? And that is this clock. The clock. So that is called, what's the 3D version called? Cube. A cube. So if you think about things in your house that might be cube shaped, what have we got? We've got dice, a cubed. Um, that clock. Um, so we've got lots of different cubes. So then we're going to go on to this one. So what is this shape? Go on, answer the door. Sorry. Sorry, somebody's knocking on the door. So what is this shape? This is the third one. So this is a bit different. It looks similar to the square, but it's got different sizes on the sides. So have a little think. See what you think this shape is. Have a little guess. Sophia, go on, what's this shape? What? What's this? She would dog completely drifted off there. What's this shape? A 
rectangle. A rectangle. <laughs> You've got to wake up. <laughs> She's used all her energy getting dressed in fancy clothes. So this one's a rectangle. So the reason we can tell it's a rectangle, again, like the square, it's got four equal sides. It, it's got four sides, four straight edges, but they're different in length. So you get two long sides and two short sides. And do you want to show them what we've got? This is a 3D version of our rectangle. So we've got a box of, with two faces. So as you can see, it's 3D and it's got two long sides, the top and the bottom, and then it's got the shorter sides on the edges. It's got four long sides. Well, it's got four long sides, yeah, because it's 3D. So that's our 3D version. So then what I want to do is go to this one. So what shape is this one? It's got three sides, this one, and it's got three pointy corners. What shape is this? So tell your grown up or have a write down of what you think that this is. Okay, what, a side, what shape is this one? Triangle. This is a triangle. So, um, similar, we've got, so we've got three, like the square, we've got equal length sides. So we've got three the same, and we've got three points, okay? So we've got a 3D version of this. So Sophia, do you want to show them the 3D version? There we go, this is quite fancy. So what do we call this one? It's like a pyramid, isn't it? So there we go. What are you trying to say, Lucas? Rectangle. We've done the rectangle. No, you didn't show us. We did. <laughs> oh, so okay. Lucas is paying attention behind the camera. It's all going incredibly wrong today. Just... So this is the triangle in 3D version. So on the on the 2D version, we've just got three sides. But as you can see, this one, like the pyramids, if you've seen a picture of the pyramids, it's got four sides on it and it's got a flat bottom. Okay, so oh, um, there's a different type of pyramid that has uh, three sides. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> so that's that one. I'm just saying. No, that's good. So the next shape that we've got is this one here. So what shape is this? It's a bit trickier. Let's see what you can think it is. So it's got six sides. Do you know what that one is, Sophia? Hexagon. A hexagon, that's right. So this is a bit tricky. We couldn't find anything that was this shape in 3D form. We've got a hexagon. So it's got all six sides and they're all, you can see it's, um, what do you call it, when you can fold it <laughs> in half and it's the same on both sides? Symmetry. Symmetry, yeah, it's a <laughs> symmetrical shape. <laughs> Completely gone out of my head today. So this is a symmetrical shape and it's equal on both sides. So that's a hexagon. So far, all of these, so these three and these two that we've done, yep. are all are all symmetrical so the way that you can test if a, if, a, if um, a picture is symmetrical is if you fold it in half so if you cut these out and then fold it in half and then opened it up again if it was the same on the one side as it is on the other side that means it is symmetrical if it was different if there was some kind of difference in from each side that means it wouldn't be symmetrical so this is a good shape so what shape is this let's have a look at this and it goes up and around and then down to a point and then the same. So again, it's symmetrical. What shape do we think that is? Sophia? It's a heart. It's a heart. So as Sophia does it, she does her hearts like this. I do it like this. Sometimes I do it like this. Sometimes like this. Yep, yeah, it's a love heart. So this is a heart. So I hope you got that right. Big thumbs up if you did. So what's this shape at the bottom? We've just got three more to go. What's this shape? Have a close look. See what you think. It's five points on it. And you might see this as a clue if you look up in the sky at night. What shape is it? A star. A star, yeah. Again, I've just realised that all of these are symmetrical because if you fold this star over, it's the same on both sides, the same points. Or that This point will touch to this point and this point will touch to this point. So that's a star. Again, we couldn't really find anything in 3D that was a star. So this one, what shape is this? Have a look closely. 
So you might think that this looks very similar to another one that's further up that we've already done. So do you know what that shape is? Again, write it down if you're writing it down. What shape is it? A diamond. A diamond. So similar, it's, if you look up at the square, if we were to turn the square that way, then that turns into a diamond. And if we get our diamond and turn it that way, it's a square. So basically a diamond, if it's symmetrical like that, if you just turn it, it's a square that's been turned round. It's again like the square, it's four equal sides and four right corners. Okay, four right angles. And then the last one is this one. So what's this shape? Just there. I think a lot of people, a lot of children might be getting something this weekend that's this shape or very similar. What is that shape? Sophia, what's the last shape? It's an oval. It's an oval, that's it. So you might be getting a lot of Easter eggs that are this oval shape. Again, it's symmetrical because it's the same on one side to the other. So what I want you to do is look around your house today. It's a little activity, 10, 15 minutes. Look at all these shapes or get your parents to pause the video so they've got all these shapes on the screen. See if you can go around and find some 3D versions of these shapes. It could be anything, like we've got toothpaste boxes and things. So you could go around, look in the food cupboard maybe. You might be able to find some things in there. and See what you can find that would match these shapes. And then you can see the difference between the 2D version and the 3D version. Okay? So that's all the shapes. So tomorrow we're going to be doing one. I know it's Good Friday, but we have got something planned. We've prepped out um, to look at currency, so British currency. And we're going to look at all the different coins and possibly a couple of the notes. So we'll do that tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Sorry if this was a bit rushed today. Like I said, I wasn't very well yesterday, so we kind of rushed to prepare for this one. But I hope you've enjoyed it. And we shall see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Bye. Peace. Peace. Compress it.